All right, let's see. Testing audio. Come on, audio, I believe in you. You can do this. And if you don't work, then I put a curse on you and your family. Ah! There we go. That was weird. That was really weird that that, that, that happened like that. Okay, well. <laughs> now that everything's fixed and back to normal. Well, let me just make sure. Is my, is my audio going through? That's great. Now that everything's back to normal, I'm gonna actually move the window that I have opened up over here. Alright, now that everything's back to normal. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to more Corpse Party Blood Drive. Where we last left off, a lot of good story happened here and there. Uh, let's see. We had, uh, we had some developments happening with, the. Uh, with Satoshi and his little his little slice of life happening what's going on over there but more importantly we found out that the mastermind behind all this spooky shit is is Sachiko's twin sister who was unbirthed because within the womb Sachiko absorbed her because she was underdeveloped or some shit right and that resentment for not being born has let the spirit to go astray, which the spirit isn't. Apparently, since the spirit is just like pure, like what's wrong? Look for pure regret, I guess, or just anger or malice. It doesn't have. It doesn't have the. It doesn't have. Supposedly, it doesn't have the thought capacity to orchestrate an entire plan. But even though. Even though that's what's stated here in the game, kind of doesn't make sense for the story to go this way, so there might be another twist somewhere along the lines. Um, we found out that the Book of Shadows we came to get in Heavenly Host was a lie. It was a farce. And Aiko was set on fire. We don't know if she's dead or not. Let's pray to God that she's not. And, uh, what's her fucking name? What's her name? <laughs> Ayumi. There we go. Ayumi met up with Kishinuma. They've met up. And she's gotten word from the other anime dude. Forgot what the fuck his name is because everyone has... Here's the thing. Everybody is getting called different names by every other person. Just stick to one name for character. I get that it's Japan. I get that it's fucking, you know respect them by using their surnames and stuff like that, you know? I get it, right? I get the formalities and all that shit. But at the same time, it's a piece of fucking fiction. Stop. Stop doing this. You're introducing a good number of characters on top of expecting people to remember everything about the other games. Right? Just choose one name, stick to it, have the characters get called that. You know? It's way easier that way for everyone involved. But yeah, we got a we got a word from the other dude, psychic guy, or fuck, you know, whatever his name is. Starts with an M, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been a week since I played this. Um, he's like, "All right, Book Shadows was a lie, but okay, you want to save your friends? We got to find the source. To find the source, we got to find the five points of like the five like these five spiritual points of the school." That will form a pentagram, and then we can do some weird ancient magic voodoo shit. And then we can take control of the Nirvana, which is the which is the world that Heavenly Hosts exist in. It's called the Nirvana. That's the realm that it's it's its own realm, its own little pocket dimension, I guess. I don't fucking know. Right? It's between the living the realm of the living and the dead. Reality and fucking spirit shit. I don't know, but basically our goal is to set up, is to fucking find these points, deal with them, get them set up or destroy them or whatever the fuck it is we have to do, find the, find the heart of the place, take control and hopefully revive our friends and then get the fuck out. While this is happening, aiko has gone, we don't know what's happened, Aiko's friend that came with her, he's being taken over by the darkening, he might be dead. He may be, we may be able to save him. 
um, Kishinuma and Ayumi. They're chilling together. Uh, the other girl, super anime chick with the scythe, she's hanging around somewhere. She's probably going to try and kill us if we see her, you know, since she apparently doesn't need us anymore. Well, at least she doesn't need Kishinuma. She probably needs Ayumi for something. And that's where we're at. Who knows? Maybe Satoshi. Maybe Satoshi and uh, the teacher, Miss Kuan. Kuan? Kuan? I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not Japanese. Um, you know, maybe they might find a way to save us, get us out of that fucking hellhole. But right now, all we have to do is survive. Another thing I want to say, since last stream, I've hooked up my good old PlayStation controller and my PS4 controller. So I don't have to use mouse and keyboard no more. By the way, I'm actually very surprised that right off the bat, the Steam version of this game, which is the one that I'm playing on, has native PS4 support. You know, native uh, DualShock 4 support. Because usually for most Steam games, for like the longest time, you would have to, you have to, you know, boot up, boot up a software that tricks the computer into thinking that, you know, the DualShock 4 is the 360 controller and all that stuff. But nope, this has native uh, DualShock 4 support, so that's nice. Let's get on down with our bad selves. All right. Now, I just gotta know what the hell the controls are. So, you know, move around. Okay, that's flashlight. Switch characters. Inventory's triangle, okay, it's, you know, it's Japan, I, I agree with that. Oops. <laughs> no. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna put the, uh, I'm not sure if I want to put the, um, the brightness down, because I don't want to keep the flashlight open all the time, but at the same time, since the brightness is up, the, uh, you know, the screen is pretty fucking bright here. I don't like it, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can put it down. Put it down a little bit. Uh... Yeah, let's put it down a little bit. Let's put it down to 60. Oop. Come on, put it. Go go up. Go up by one. Come come on. Come on. Stop being difficult. There we go. Save settings? Yes. Okay. Um let's see. What are the other buttons? Holding circle is run, that's nice. X, I'm gonna assume that's interact. Square. Square is log, okay. Uh, R2, L2. All right, D-pad, D-pad is movement as well. And right stick is nothing it seems, which I would, you know, I wouldn't imagine it would be anything because it doesn't seem like you will control a camera in this game whatsoever, so. So let's get, uh, let's get started with, um, with some more course party. Where we last left off, I believe we were getting chased by the mannequin the science mannequin, you know, of the anatomy, human anatomy. So that guy might still be running around. It'll probably be easier for me to run away from things now, since I now have an analog stick. That's great. Um, I gotta say, I have to say, ooh, you know what? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, what's the log button again? It's square? Shouldn't stay here much longer. Ready to go. Rub my eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. Alcohol lamp. So I'm guessing that... I'm guessing that I just have to check the areas. And when I do get near a location of, like, spiritual... You know, a location that's important, something will happen. Or maybe the weird magic detector in my pocket will start glowing. Uh, let's have Kishinuma go first. It's been a, you know, we haven't seen him in action that much, right? I gotta say, I am... I love how he's using Ayumi's phone as flashlight, that's great. I gotta say, I'm sitting here playing Quartz Party tonight. Sora came out earlier today for Smash Brothers. I'm excited, but also disappointed. Not because I don't like Sora. 
But because I don't like Kingdom Hearts fans, yeah, that's right, I said it. Fuck you guys. I don't want you guys to be happy. I gotta be fucking sad all the time when I don't get the shit that I want. Fuck you. Where's my new Parasite Eve, you son of a bitch? <laughs> I want it. Right? I guess we're just gonna be checking rooms. I don't have a talisman on me, by the way, so if a ghost appears, I'm fuck. Oh. Well, hello. He's not here, but where? Uh, I have an alcohol lamp. Would you want that? This doesn't seem to be it. She's searching for a person or an animal. Huh. Oh. Forgot. Gotta keep this out. There's something on the floor. Batteries. Now I'm gonna check this. Something not quite right about this cabinet, of course. Is this a, uh... Yes, it is. Tripwire, you piece of shit. Now, the game has established that we need to check cabinets more often. Even though, earlier, the game is all like, don't go checking shit, the darkening might happen. But I guess cabinets are, uh, cabinets. Cabinets. Sorry, I'm ghetto. I can't speak properly. Cabinets are, um... They are an exception to the rule. So... Let's just check around. I still can't believe that this is nothing. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Ghost- Oh! Now you can run through doors?! Ah, uh, glass! Just gotta... Oh, wait, am I stuck? Fuck. Don't you know wait me? I'm getting tired. Ah! I can't run anymore. Ah, damn it. I know I'm supposed to hide, but my characters get tired so fucking fast. Oh, I keep running the glass and shit. You should know how you looking. Am I getting chased by two of them? I'll get the fuck out of here with that. Why can't you just die? If I switch characters, they, they share the same stamina. That's great. Fuck off. God, I run out of stamina so fast. For fuck's sake. Eh. Eh. Ah, fuck. Jesus. It's a dead end. Ah, fuck, let me through. Oh, that's not a door. I can't do shit because I'm so tired. Eh, eh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I know I'm supposed to hide in a cabinet, but like... I can't get far enough away from them. And I don't have a talisman. And there's no way for me to recover my stamina. God, fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys are super dead. Oh, door's locked. Damn it. Yep, that's it. Bye, Kishinuma. Bad end. Right off the bat. Seems that we're starting this. We're starting the stream off wonderfully.
Would you like to save system settings? Yeah, sure, why not? Fuck it. I died. I'll own up to it. So what, what confuses me there is that I know I can hide in cabinets and shit, right? In lockers. Well, not lockers, like in, well, cabinets, I guess, you know. The big ones, the wardrobes. I don't know what the hell you call them. I don't feel like they're cabinets. I feel like they're something else, but they're not lockers. But you can hide in them, but ghosts can also see you in them. So, you know, if a ghost is like right up your ass... You can't just run in there and hide. And this is where one of the ghosts appeared, right? Fuck off, I'll just grab it. Something on the floor. Oh, it's a band-aid. For getting fucked up. I'll put the flashlight away. Is that gonna give me away? Ah, fuck. It's probably because I had the flashlight on. Ah, shit. Come on. Oh, and we're dead. Shining a light on them doesn't do anything, right? Let me test that out. I'm not sure if you can shine a... Can you shine the flashlight on them? Does that stun them? Hmm. It might be able to stun them. Let me try that out. Nope. Flashlight does not do anything, that's for sure. Oh, well, you obviously see me. So, the answer to that is no. No, I won't. Isn't this room a dead end? Uh, running through. I get you off my ass. What the fuck am I stepping on? Oh, it's glass over there too. And then you get tired out. Okay. Like I can't. That's not me getting hit, that's me like, I can't move, because my characters are too tired. It's so weird. Oh well, that was my fault, 100%. Add one chair, batteries. Huh. Wire. There's a body over there. Oh, I didn't pick up the uh, bandages this time around. Whoops. Okay, so as long as I. Oh, wait, never mind. For a moment, I was like, as long as I keep moving, can they just not hit me? interesting that's interesting to me 
So now the question is, if I do run into a ghosty, what is the course of action I should take? Because you can't just outrun them. You have to hide. I guess you're just going to have to plan out when you run, right? Hmm. I don't get it. Hey, Breezy. How's it going? It's been a while. It's been a long, long time. So this falls down. Do I get hurt by this? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I do get hurt by that. Holy shit. That's a big chunk of damage, too. Yeah, we're playing more Corpse Party. Came back for Halloween. It's tis the season to be spooky. Maybe like, depending on how, depending on how well I do this, it might be uh, maybe two more streams. Because we're on what, like the fifth chapter, I want to say, and it seems like this game definitely seems shorter than Book of Shadows. That's for sure. I don't think there's anything that I'm going to find useful in the science room. So I'm just going to skedaddle over here. Also, earlier in the game, they're like, be careful of the little blood splotches on the ground because... because monster tentacles can pop up and grab you. I have yet to see a monster tentacle since... Oh, shit! <laughs> Take on full sprint. Where am I going? Bad idea. Bad idea, me. Now, question is, did they see me? Answer is yes. Answer is yes. Answer is yes. I was spotted. Nope. I'm good. Not much happened outside of school and stuff. Yeah. For me, it's just been... For me, it's been work... And a whole lot of Final Fantasy fourteen, <laughs> Hitting rocks. Leveling up my miner. I finally max level my mining class. Today. Which is level 80. Which is took very long to do. And now I'm leveling up my botanist. Which is just me hitting trees instead of hitting rocks now. I have school early today so you're not going to stay too long. Oh that's okay. Don't worry. Stream's always going to be like super long and then uploaded, you know, later down the road. What the fuck? When is this ghost going to go away? Is it never going to turn blue? Because blue is the good one, right? I'm going to go this way. Nope. No, I'm not. <laughs> that ghost is over there. All right. So, where the fuck am I going? Hmm. Motherfuck! Goddamn glass. I was stepping on glass. It's really hard to see that shit. Oh, tripwire. Let me, let me get that. Make sure I don't run into that later. Even though I'm going to run into like a million other things. Anything in this cabinet? Folder. First articles. Okay. So nothing different. Been playing Persona 4. Oh, there's a ghost. <laughs> Let's go. Did it see me? I don't think it saw me. Huh. Been playing Persona 4 for the first time. Take a break and pace yourself. Persona... The beginning, I will say, Persona 4, great game. Love it, right? I love Persona. But, Persona 4... Please... Okay, I got batteries. Alright, Ghost didn't see me, that's cool. Persona 4, you start that game and it's like, Hey man, you wanna watch like a three hour long cutscene? <laughs> and it's like, god damn it. What are you doing to me? 
Chie's over there. She's like, hey, man, you like Yukiko, right? You want to tap that? And Yukiko's like, stop it, Chie. You do this shit all the time. Why are you so horny horny? Makes no sense. Before the end of this year, I definitely will be doing a Persona 4 playthrough. You can bet on that one. Supposed to do it like years ago, but just never really. I mean, I did it, but I didn't like the way it came out. So I just deleted it all. Deleted it. Every video. I warned people about it. I said I would delete it, and then I did. I'm also going to have to redo Pokemon Sword because fucking... Because <laughs> uh, my Switch... The, um, so the screen on my Switch didn't break, but the display inside of it did. In a very catastrophic, uh, catastrophic accident. Right? So then I went out and got myself a nice, a brand new OLED because I'm like, fuck it, I can either spend $100 to get the screen fixed and wait like two weeks or something. Or, uh, I can just buy myself an OLED. Wait, what do I need here? Get rid of hair somehow. Okay. Well, can I use the alcohol lamp? Need something to light it with. We gotta find some lighters. But yeah, uh, got myself a fancy new OLED along with Skyward Sword HD and Metroid Dread. Have not touched Metroid Dread yet, by the way. I'm playing through a Super Metroid before I touch Metroid Dread. Even though I should play through Fusion first. Right? But, um... You know, bought that, been playing around with that, and while I was transferring my stuff, guess what games you can't transfer over to a different Switch? Animal Crossing and Pokemon. Animal Crossing, they have like a transfer application for that, so you can get around with that. So my my Animal Crossing save is fine, but all the Pokemon, they're like, uh-uh, no way. You can't transfer that. Not used to the grind necessary for leveling. Oh, let me... Want want to hear want to hear a wonderful hint, a wonderful wonderful hint for Persona Four and grinding. Guess what? The only grind you need to worry about is the sh is the social stuff. I kid you not. Normal mode's pretty cool as it is, but even if you don't care that much about it, just switch that shit to easy mode. There's literally. There's literally no prize for doing it on hard or anything like that. It's just self, self challenge. You know, you don't even get a trophy for it or anything like that. Trust me, I've been trophy hunting on uh, on uh, the PS Vita version, and the only trophy I don't got is the one that's uh that's reset fan, which is uh you have to get her to say like all her fucking navigation quotes. It's kind of difficult to get that one. You son of a bitch. Bring it on. Bring it on. Run circles around your ass. Uh, never mind. I'm out of here. Just keep going. Don't stop. Lose your ass in the dust. Ah! Now the tentacles show up. Jesus, fuck. Ah, damn it. It really sucks that I share stamina. Just briskly walk. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, upstairs. Swing and a miss. Just keep walking. Don't stop. Oh, come on! Fuck you. I'm on normal and it kills you every time the bear mascot is like, it's not strong. At <laughs> it's not strong at all. You got it. You can beat them. Yeah, definitely the beginning when you don't have uh, four teammates. It's a little bit, you know, I'm not going to say it's. I'm not going to say it's challenging, but it's a little bullshit at times because sometimes out of nowhere, an enemy will just be like, nah, I just feel like killing you today, right? But, you know, the first area you usually grind, maybe like level five or something. Then you have, then you have, uh, you get your third character and then the first boss is probably like, first boss is probably the only really hard one, I guess. 
at least for Persona 4 Golden, right? Wait, are you playing 4 or are you playing Golden? I'm assuming you're playing Golden on the PC. If you're playing 4, then you're probably doing it off the Virtual Console. A Virtual Console? What the fuck am I saying? Off the PlayStation 3, off of their, uh, you know, PS2 classes. Golden? Alright, got it. Because Vanilla 4, because I played Vanilla 4 back in the day, uh, there was definitely some moments of pure bullshit where enemies just be like, uh-uh, mm-mm. Ever heard about an insta-kill move? <laughs> All right, so the ghosts are gone. And there was definitely one boss that just loved throwing insta-kill moves, which they definitely toned that boss down in Golden. But, yeah. For the most part with Golden, just enjoy your, you know, just enjoy your playthrough. Don't sweat it too much. And... And you know what? If you want, just just throw on fucking continues, cause who's gonna stop you? It's a single player game. You don't have many game consoles. <laughs> yeah, I know how that feels. I didn't have. You wanna know? <laughs> There's a reason why I have so many game consoles, and it's because I'm part of the, I am part of the uh, Kingdom Hearts problem. They caught me when I was when I was young. They got me. And every time a new Kingdom Hearts game came out, you gotta buy a new system, so I would just- I was already used to just saving up a bunch of money. Just to be like, I gotta get that Kingdom Hearts game, they got me now. Right? So, that's why, uh... That's why- <laughs> that's why for the most part, I'm pretty- I'm pretty lucky to, uh... To get the consoles and shit, even though I'm broke as shit, to be honest. I was even lucky enough to get the OLED, Jesus. I didn't even want it at first. The only reason I wanted it was because I was like, I just didn't want to hand my Switch, my old Switch over to like some random person for like two weeks, right? And then pay a hundred bucks for them to fix the screen. My old Switch isn't even like broken, broken. It still works. You put it in the dock and it shows up on the TV and it's fine. It's just in handheld mode that I can't really do anything with it, which I mean is the point of the Switch, so. You know? Ah, oh, motherfucker. I will say, though, the OLED Switch... Um, if you have a version 1 Switch, like, the first releases, is definitely... I'm not gonna say it's 100% worth the upgrade, but it's definitely worth it more than if you had, like, the version 2 Switches, or Switch Lite, because the battery life is longer than the first version of the Switch. And... The, um, <clears throat> the OLED screen is actually really, really good. Oh, come on. You did not see me. You did not see me. Fuck off. How is it blue and green? How are you showing me multiple colors? Blue is supposed to be safe and red is supposed to be danger. It's like you're safe, but you're also in danger. <laughs> what do I do? Right? Yeah, but the OLED screen, you know, you know how you walk into like, you walk into, like, the TV display section in, like, Walmart or Target or something, and you look at the 4K TVs, and they're all nice and vibrant, and the color red pops, like, really great, and you're like, oh my god, it's so rich and luscious, I want it, right? And then you buy it, and you take it home, and you go, what the fuck, how come none of my programs look like this shit? What did I do with my TV? Is it wrong? Did I fuck it up? But, you know, you... The only reason it's like that, because most most TV programs aren't really like... I keep calling them programs. How fucking old am I? Jesus fuck. Most uh, TV shows and stuff like that, there aren't, they aren't recorded with cameras to like help to help support that, that display. But with the OLED switch, it's just video games, baby. And you fucking turn that shit on. You turn on Smash Brothers and you look at those colors and you go, oh... Oh, it's just like how it is in the store. It's so beautiful. You keep that shit, you keep that shit safe. I instantly went out and bought myself a case for that shit. I went, uh-uh, that screen is too good. Play more PC than Switch, so you're not too good. Yeah, you really don't need to upgrade on the OLED. Even if you have a version 1 Switch, you really don't need to upgrade. It's just... It's just my, my situation was a little bit more understandable. And to be honest, it didn't hit my wallet as bad as I, as bad as I thought it would initially, especially after buying like the games and stuff. 
even though when I bought my games, I walked out the store with my receipt and I was like, God damn it, I forgot to use my credit card. Shit. <laughs> so now I now before the 22nd, I have to pull my credit card out and buy something at least worth $60. So I might just buy another Switch game. Maybe Kirby. I haven't played Star Allies. I have been playing a lot of uh, Superstar Ultra, though, for Kirby. Got myself, got myself an OLED Switch, and I'm sitting there playing NES games like a fucking loser. Did I go in here before? No. I didn't go in here yet. It's probably definitely a ghost or something in here. Take out the flashlight, make sure I'm not running into any trip wires. Something on the floor. Talisman. Nice. So, I still have no idea where the fuck I'm actually supposed to go. Maybe I can... Oh, I can head to, um... I can head, uh, to the courtyard. I just gotta remember how to get there. I'm in... Oh, I'm on floor one already, so I just have to loop around, right? Or is it up here? I think it might be up here. Let me turn this off just in case a ghost appears. A bad spirit comes walking about. This leads to the custodian's room. Oh, oh what's this? Matches, hell yeah. There's a dresser upstairs that had hair on it. I'm not going to check that. That might increase my darkening levels. Wait, what? Something seems to have moved inside the cabinet. Oh, go fuck yourself. I find it... Well, not funny, but... I find it interesting that Naho and uh, Kibiki's bodies are still inside that closet. They're like, remember those two? They're super dead. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Okay. I'm trying to remember where the cabinet was that had the hair on it. Maybe it was the second floor? Because I want to check that out before I go, before I run through the courtyard and try to head to the other school building, if I can head to the other school building. All the while keeping an eye out for the ghosties. Oh no! Pathway's blocked off, so I can't go to the other school building. Okay. So we're stuck in this building. We've been stuck in this building for a long time. <laughs> and the layout is pretty much still the same. Which is why I'm so surprised as to why I keep getting... Why I don't know where to go. There's only, few, there's only so many places you can go. Oh, let's see if can I sneak in here without the ghost noticing? Yep. Just gonna save my game because now I got some items on me. Come on, use the candle. It's your own damn candle. Don't be afraid of it. You're the one who put it there. Hmm. Something inside the cabinet. Band aid. That book was not here before. Notebook here. The word diary written on it. It's a trap. But let's read it. Fuck it. Journal lists daily records of Sachiko's growth and development, all presented with an abnormally high level of detail. Oh, this was definitely written by her evil fucking twin sister. Flipping through the pages, there's one that immediately catches my attention. During... Uh, during a standard school physical, a strange shadow showed up and the x-ray taken of Sachiko's body. That's her evil fucking twin sister. We had no idea what it was and Sachiko was terrified, but it had to be removed and it required surgery. To remove a shadow? What? Turned out that Sachi's teeth... Oh. Turns out to be Sachi's teeth. And when you're a little girl with teeth stuck inside your body, people treat you like some kind of devil. Ooh. Okay. 
So I guess, I guess that's where the teeth came from. Because the question was, how the fuck was a ghost that was never born able to give us a piece of their body to help them get transported over here, right? And it's like, oh, like, even though they were never born, the teeth were still inside of Sachiko, so that was, that was kept. Okay. That makes more sense now. That was definitely a confusing part for me. It's like, how the fuck can someone who was never born leave their teeth on me? Glass covered in handprints. Okay. It's because the teeth was inside. You son of a bitch. Getting better at hiding from these guys. Just gonna wait it out a bit. See what happens. Okay, it stopped for a moment and then it kept going. It's still blue. Guess we're safe. Um, that's the science room. There was nothing in the science room. Ghost entered. <laughs> exactly. Um... This... I think there was... There was a ghost in this room, right? Oh, fuck off! I don't... I'm trying to think as to where... Ah, fucking shit. Oh. I didn't even see this before. Grab that! Come on, you need it! I love how the ghost is like, Wait, no, stop! I want to kill you! There's not that many lockers to hide in in this place. They need to put some more around. There's only like two. Let you miss your hits. And then there's the other ghost that's up here, right? I'm gonna have to... Full on sprint past these two. It's like this. It's like this one and like another one. It's like a Scooby-Doo chase. <laughs> Speaking of Scooby-Doo, I've been, you know, it's Halloween time, right? I want to do a playthrough of Scooby-Doo, and I have done a playthrough of Scooby-Doo. And it's been done, and I want to upload it so bad, but I can't, because I'm waiting, I'm waiting for someone to get done with something that I need for it. So, I'm just sitting on this Scooby-Doo playthrough. And I'm like, I want to upload it so bad. Can't do it, though. Can't do it. Makes me really sad. Makes me really sad. I'm waiting on two people, actually. Uh, let's see. Can you hide in this one, too? Wait, what? Countless strands of human hair stuffed inside the cabinet. But that's not the one I need to burn off, right? Is this the one? This might be the one. Cabinet frozen in place. One looked like something was moving. Something on the floor. It's battery. There's this ghost over here. She's looking for something. Or someone. I don't have anything for her. Alright. Guess I can head to the third floor then. Check that out. Ah! Mother! How fucked up am I? Okay, I'm actually... Oh, I don't have that much damage on me. I thought I had more. Kishinuma, get your ass out here. You're supposed to be the one taking the hits. 
not Ayumi, not poor little Ayumi, not poor little fucking dumb stupid couldn't just sit down and and let it happen Ayumi, you know, just just chill out for a second. Now I gotta bring my friend back, she said. I got a full metal alchemist myself over here. Be careful for that glass. Don't want to step on it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in those two rooms upstairs. Um, we checked that room. We came out of there. There's the board down here. Oh, fuck. I can't even see where I'm going. There's a board that we have to pick up. Affixed to the wall. Is there anything I can do with this clock? Seems like someone broke it. Let me just save the game. I really hope Ico's okay. I really do. The good old piss bucket. I love piss bucket. It's my favorite thing about the Quartz Party series. Now, can I pick this up? This seems important to me. Seems like we need this. It's a wooden board that we can use to cross things. But it's just there. It wasn't there before. But it's there now. But I can't interact with it. Oh, was this... Th this might have been the room. I think this is the room, yeah. Fucking ghost is gonna chase me the moment I open this shit. There's large quantities of hair. Light that shit up. Well, damn, sorry, you should have came out. I didn't know you were in there. The hair immediately catches on fire and burns up in one giant, rather foul-smelling fireball. Fucking bird corpse again? Jesus, fuck. Inside the cabinet, a terrible smell it contains only. What the fuck am I gonna do? Oh. I get it. I get it now. Okay, it makes sense. I found, I found somebody's pet bird. Tukey Tukey, is that you? What, what bird can I call? <laughs> I love how Tukey Tukey's the first fucking like, pet bird in, in media that can pull up. It's fucking the bird from Jorg of the, uh, Jorg? Jorg of the Jungle, yeah. George of the Jungle. I think she's in this room, right? There's Snowball, right? The owl from Harry Potter. I think I got your bird. This yours? Ah, uh, it's Cheapers. <laughs> it's my bird, Cheapers. Thank you. Cheapers and I used to eat used to eat this together every day. Please take it as a sign of my gratitude. Strawberry milk bun obtained. Aw, thank you. It's okay, cheapers. <laughs> Alright. So there was that. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that. I thought I would get, like, a useful item. Well, I mean, it is a useful item, but, I, you know, like a key item or something that I needed. I don't like that I can't grab that. That makes me mad. Um, I went in here, right? Is this the room with the hole in the wall? It is, and it's also the room with the fucking ghost in it somewhere, so I'm just gonna walk my ass out of here. Cheaper sounds like Jeepers, <laughs> or the Creeper. Scooby-Doo on the brain. Dude, you're saying you had Scooby-Doo on the brain. For the past month, I've had Scooby-Doo on the fucking brain. I've been watching, um, HBO put up the, uh, series that they had last year. I think it came out last year. The Guess Who? Scooby-Doo and Guess Who? At the beginning of October, HBO Max put, uh, put that series on. And I've just been watching that. 
And it's like, it's like, who's on the show today? Neil deGrasse Tyson? Steve Urkel? I'm like, what the fuck? So far, so far, all the episodes have been pretty good, except for the one with, um... I forgot, I forgot the fucking name. It's a basketball player. And fucking, the dude is definitely not a voice actor, that's for sure. Uh, wait, what is this? A locker room door is boarded shut, nails. Okay, I gotta find like a hammer or something. Because I'm pretty sure none of this shit's really gonna help me. But yeah, so far, it's been pretty good. I like it. <laughs> like the Steve Urkel? Yeah, exactly. I have fucking sat there too. Because they're like, they're like Steve Urkel and the whole episode is just him fucking things up and everyone going, oh my god, you're so fucking annoying. I hate you. <laughs> right? They also had Weird Al. And that one was Weird Al just like keeps singing and even Shaggy goes like, can you do something besides sing? Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> And Weird Al's just like, I'm singing, man. Uh, one of the episodes was uh, the Plucky Phantom and, like, those group of kids. Yeah, I know. It's a motherfucker. It's pretty fun. Jesus. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it definitely saw me. It definitely saw me, but I'm going to chance it anyways. It definitely saw me going there. No, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Shit. Yeah, but even I was sitting there, I'm like, first of all, like, it's a fucking, like, it's definitely a show made for, like, the older audience because all the guest characters are, like, you know, like, what, what fucking child nowadays is gonna understand who the fuck Neil deGrasse Tyson is? Like, right? You know? But I'm just sitting there, I'm like, out of all the picks, really? Steve Urkel? <laughs> what the fuck? I was confused. Uh, I, I forgot her full name, but one of them is, uh, one of the people that are on there is uh, Wanda. Wanda Sykes, I think? Yeah, it's Wanda Sykes, that's her name, right? Fucking, she's on there, and... <laughs> And the episode starts, and it's like, here's a pet shop owned by Mr. Peebles. And I'm like, oh, God, I already know where this shit is going. <laughs> Mr. Peebles. I'm like, me, I'm in my fucking 20s, and even I know who the fuck Mr. Peebles is. It's bad. It's real bad over here in my brain. Okay, what's going on? Oh, well, first of all, it's trip wires over here. Those things are dangerous. Keep the flashlight up so I can look out for trip wires. Hmm. Pungent odor of blood. Is no ghost gonna appear over here? Oh, nope, there's one right there. But there might be an item in there. Ah, oh, damn it. Whenever they consider Bill Nye on the show. They probably did, but I mean would Bill Nye show up to do anything with Warner Brothers now? Cause I know Neil deGrasse Tyson would. Cause he were he still works with Warner Brothers, right? Fucking I need to keep watching it though. I, like, stopped watching it. But it was pretty good. It's written pretty good. Right? It's not... It's not as, like, campy as the old Scooby-Doo. Like, the really, really old Scooby... Like, the Scooby-Doo show type shit. Where, like, you know... Where da where Velma just does everything. Shaggy, Scooby fucks around. And we don't even know why fucking Fred and <laughs> Daphne are there most of the time. <laughs> Fred drives the car. Oh, shit. The ghost like, you talking shit about Fred? That's my guy. He wears an orange ascot. In the year fucking 2021. Respect the ascot. I love it.
Um, but I guess they're I guess they're gonna try and have Scooby Doo go for like go for more of a older audience that kind of still wants it because for the longest time they they announced that Velma was supposed to be getting her own like live action show on on HBO Max, right? If I remember correctly. So that ghost is still down there. I kind of want to... I'm going to have to run past the ghost. Because I want to check that room out. I want to check... Oh, Oh, I had a talisman. I guess I was trying to save it, right? Damn it. Yeah, but Velma, she was like, I, I think it was like two years ago that they announced like she was supposed to get her own live action show. But at the same time, there was also like a Indiegogo campaign or whatever made by some other people who were trying to make a pilot for a live action Scooby-Doo show. That would take like more of a darker and gritty tone or whatever. And they were like, this time the monsters are real. And it's been like, I think, I think the last time they updated that, that page for the Indiegogo was like maybe six months ago. I don't know. I haven't checked it in a while. I didn't, by the time I, you know, saw it, someone brought it to my attention. Like the, uh, they met their goal, right? But I didn't donate anything to it because it was already over by the time I saw it. So, but I was like, man, that looks cool. Except for when you see the trailer and it doesn't it doesn't look 100% bad, but you can tell like a it's on a budget and B fucking, you know, they're having like a real dog play a uh, Scooby, right? And fucking um, and there's like a scene. There's a scene in the trailer where all of them are standing next to each other and in order for them to get the dog not to like fucking run around or something. You can tell that someone's holding a treat in their hand because the dog just won't stop fucking licking their hand. <laughs> And you're just like, motherfucker. You're like, oh man, don't don't let me don't let me see the treat that you're giving the dog to calm him down. And I remember they were being like really coy about like, is Scooby gonna talk? I don't know. You see nothing, ghost. Good. Keep it that way. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. What's in here? There's nothing in this cabinet. There was nothing in the science room. Where the fuck am I going? What is my goal? I'm supposed to be finding like these locations or whatever. But so far I get like no reaction. Got mixed feelings about live actions. Yeah, me too. You know? Yeah. But at the same time, I have mixed feelings about the live action thing because there's always like going to be like the distance between it. Between, like, the source material, because, I mean, there's only so much you can do with live action. But, like, animation is, like, really expensive. But, um... Fucking... At the same time, it's like, yeah, after Mystery Incorporated happened for Scooby-Doo, like, that was... That was good. Everybody wanted more of that, right? So, let's take... Let's take that and just go, like, but what if the monsters are real now? The only thing that you don't want, though, is what Riverdale did. <laughs> Riverdale season one, this awesome fucking murder mystery, like who did it type shit. And you're like, yeah, this is great. Because even in the Archie comics, you know, the old Archie comics, they they didn't go this. I don't think they went this far, but there were there were like moments where like Archie got shot and stuff like that. Right. You know. And just these ten teens living their lives. But now after that fucking season two is like fucking. It's like, oh, Archie's gonna, gonna join the mob because Veronica's dad is fucking mafioso type motherfucker. And fucking, and they're selling this drug called Jingle Jangle and the bad boy Jughead fucking him and his dad and his, and his fucking, and his goddamn stupid snake gang. Hey man, what you doing in here? You touching yourself? So hungry. Come to think of it, I got the strawberry milk bun. Here you go, you want this shit? 
Thank you. Now I don't have to search for food. Fuck yeah, music room key. I'm gonna fucking play some goddamn music. Now, what if I just ate that bun right there? I'm assuming, like, earlier in the game, there was, like, a bun on a table somewhere. And fucking... They were like, you know, Ayumi was like, Man, I guess he left this here for me. Should I eat it? And I went, fuck no, don't touch that shit. I'm not eating nothing in here. <laughs> what? I'm not eating anything I found in here. I'm definitely not eating something a ghost gave me. Ghost is like, hey man, yo, I got this strawberry milk bun. Put this in your mouth. And you're like, uh-uh. That's, that's ghost food for a ghost. I wish they gave me a fucking map or something. Jesus, I don't even know where the fuck the music room's at. Music room, music room, music room. I know I went to the music room, like, earlier with uh, Aiko when I was playing as her, but that was so long ago that I just really don't know where it's at anymore. I think it might be on the third floor? Or, like, in a completely different fucking building or some shit. Yeah, but Riverdale is just... <laughs> I'm not even sure if Riverdale has a Season 4 going on right now, because I haven't heard anything after its Season 3 came out. But, oh my god, it started so good, and then, you know, once it ends, it's like, okay, what else we have to do? Well, we gotta build up, you know, fucking Veronica's bullshit. And they had this, they had this cool, like, side plot of, like, you know, Betty and her sister and what's going on with that, and, like, this guy who's like her lost brother or something and you know it sounded like really can't be like oh her long lost brother or whatever well it wasn't long lost brother it was like a brother put up for adoption or some shit or he just like moved out or something or like the parents gave him away or something like that but you know dude comes back he's kind of an asshole but then in betty's like man i don't know i just had this fucking this impudent rage build inside of me She's like, I have this darkness inside of me. I gotta fucking know where it's coming from. And then there was like this weird moment or something where like... <laughs> where... Where it's so... I, fuck, I don't, I don't even know how to... How to like explain it. Betty was like... Betty, by the way, Betty the good girl. The blonde haired goody goody of the, uh, you know, of the Archie comics. I mean, Veronica was a goody goody too, but she was more like outgoing, I guess. Betty was like the girl next door. But, you know, Betty's like, oh, I got this fucking dark side. I like to put on this dominatrix wig or whatever the fuck and, like, get in touch with my inner freak, I guess. And I'm like, okay, cool. By the way, aren't these characters in high school? Just want to point that out, but whatever. Um, <laughs> even though they're all played by, like, fucking 20 years old, 20 years old and shit like that. Yeah, it does sound complicated, because there's so many fucking story plot lines that no one wants to stick to, because it's them, like, testing the waters, but they're doing it in the most, like, unsubtle way possible. But it's like, she does that, and fucking, you know, she axes her brother, that's just like... She's like, man, where does this, where does this, like, weird darkness come from with this, from me, or whatever? Is it something that you have to? He's like, yeah, it's something I got. Sometimes I like to fucking feel myself, too. And then they, and then there's like this moment, listen, it's been a while since I watched it, so I'm not even sure if I'm remembering it correctly, but there's like this moment where they're like, well, since we're both super fucking freaky, why don't we just like, sometimes we just set up like a little video chat just for, just for the both of us, and we're both just like, touching ourselves, watching each other touch ourselves, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm sitting here, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? What? And then out of nowhere, they have this whole plot line of like a character going, I'm unaccepted. My parents don't accept me because I, because I'm gay. And it's like, calm down. Where did this come from? I understand it if it was like something that was already there, but like, but like, it was like, it was the character. The character they chose to do that with was a character who spent the entire first season being a pure, like, slutty bitch. 
and just being all about like sucking dick <laughs> like, and then the second like the second season she's just like and and i'm just unaccepted by my parents and i'm like where i'm like you could have chose this with any other character where the fuck did this come from you chose it from this one okay it was just so out of left field <laughs> It's like you've written a, it's like you've written a character to do that. Yeah, there's too many tropes. It's just so weird. It's like just trying to throw shit at the wall and see what it sticks. Hey Ronnie, how's it going? <laughs> it's been a while. And yes, it is scary tober. I'm going to have to fucking when it comes to October, I'm definitely going to have to there's going to be some playthroughs bleeding over into November for this because because the schedule isn't going as a uh, as uh swiftly as i hope it would right now where the fuck is the music room maybe it's on the first floor ah fucking glass i couldn't even see that shit jesus fuck yeah there's there's wooden boards on there it's probably a hammer in the music room if i can find the music room is this ghost still stalking the hallways over here? Maybe it's up here. Maybe the music room is up here. <clears throat> I still want to play Parasite Eve 2. There's a lot of games I want to play for uh, Spooky Mom. Alan Wake. Well, Alan Wake Remake, I guess, since that's out now. Fucking, um... Parasite Eve 2, because last year we did Parasite Eve and I had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> did you guys know I'm about to blow your fucking mind did you guys know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell fucking blow your goddamn mind fuck off I was kind of hoping that there would be fucking something over here like a locker or something? Don't come in this room. It's a safe room! You're not allowed to come in here! It's not a safe room, but you know what I mean? It's the janitor's room. It was a story room. Story things happen in there. Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta run circles around your dumbass. Ah! Fucking glass! Come over here. Jesus, I stepped on glass again. I'm probably gonna bleed out because of all the glass I'm stepping in. Oh, fuck off. Get away from, get away from the cabinet. Where the fuck did the ghost even come from? It was upstairs, right? Upstairs. What am I saying? Upstairs. It was like up into the to the left. Jesus fuck. How hurt am I? Oh, I'm not that hurt. Okay. But it sucks though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and sneak past them or just run past them entirely. Cause maybe the music room's that way. I'm not sure. Oh, this is the room with the fucking Ouija board. At least it wasn't Ayumi like earlier. Oh, fucking. What do you mean? You mean we're like she, uh... <laughs> oh, there's a tripwire over here. Let me get rid of that. Jesus, these things are hard to see. I'm gonna hope that there's no ghost in this room because... Because last time I came here, there was like a million trip wires all around the room. Open the cabinet. Wait, what? Okay. Guess nothing of importance happened over there. There's the Ouija board. I'm not going to fuck with that. No, I'm not going to fuck with that. I'm just going to go. <laughs> oh, stepping on. Yeah, fucking just damn it. 
I'm gonna see if I can go in here. 4A. Tripwire right there. Tripwire is really hurt, and they're like super hard to see if you don't have your flashlight out. Now is a tentacle gonna grab me? Nope, we're good for now. Oh, there's gotta be a ghost in here. And this is what I need the board for, huh? Oh wait, no, I can just go around over there. Something on chair, bandage. Probably gonna need it so when I go to grab that, the ghost that attacks me. Talisman? Okay, cool. Seems like there's nothing in here. No trip wires so far. I'm gonna go out through this door. Hope that it puts me past the ghost. Do I know when the next stream is gonna be? Um, if it's not later today, in the daytime, like around like 11 or... Okay, store shit. Cool. Around like 11 or like 10 or something like that, because I'm going to be playing Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, going through that. And um, if it's not going to be that, then it's definitely going to be... Uh, it's in the schedule. <laughs> what is it going to be? Is it Wednesday? Wednesday late? Like late Wednesday? Shit. I think so. Like, the other stream slots are, like, they're not set in stone, but those are the times that it would most likely happen, and the Quartz Party stream slots are guaranteed, unless something comes up, but, you know, I'm making time for them. Let's see. Just look, stone I got from Mi- ah, uh, that's his name, Mitsuto. From, uh, Mitsuto is reacting to something. What the fuck? How you put me in a cutscene and then have a fuck? Be gone, demon! What kind of bullshit was that? Oh, see, now it rea- oh, okay, cool. Music room? Music room. Hmm? Gotta go, but it was nice chatting. Oh yeah, it's nice having you here. Hopefully see you next time. I had fun. Charm is glowing full force, though, uh, wait, what? Oh, Charm's glowing. <laughs> I read that so, like, so, like, absently, I guess. The Charm is glowing full force, though. Has to be in there. Guess you're right. Let's see if we can find the key anywhere. I have the key. Oh, it's the gym room. Shit. I thought that was the music room. Fuck. Then where the hell is the, where's the hell is the music room? So that's one location. <laughs> what can go wrong? <laughs> everything. Everything can go wrong. So where the fuck is the music room? It must be upstairs then. And how am I doing on, uh, health? It also kind of sucks that they have the darkening system in this game as well, but there's nothing, there's nothing that tells you about it. You just kind of have to have a feel for it. You know, unless, like, something happens around, like, the screen. Like, when you're low on health, you get, like, blood around your screen. Hmm. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Go the other way. Just keep facing the wall, buddy. Keep facing the wall. Keep... No, no, you're not facing the... You're doing the exact opposite. You're doing the thing I don't want you to do. And now you're chasing me. Damn, Kishinuma. Fucking... You're supposed to be, like, the tough guy. Fucking... Go run on a treadmill or some shit. You tire out too fast. How are you gonna be like, Ayumi, I'm here to protect you, but I can't fucking run more than, like, 25 feet. We're good? We're good. Catch your breath, you fucking, you worthless sack of shit. <laughs> Alright, so where the fuck is the music room? 
can't be it can't be the third floor because the third floor only has two rooms in it. It has to be somewhere over here. Where the fuck? They should have gave me a map. Why would we even come back to this place? That's what every character said. Well, let me let me correct myself. Naomi, Naomi and Ayumi in Book of Shadows, the game before this, they went. Uh, Ayumi was like, there might be a way to bring them back. Let's go. Let's go check around in some in the fucking countryside. Up on a mountain in the middle of the woods, run inside this ghost house and see if we can fuck around with the Book of Shadows, which is this fucking basically this goddamn Necronomicon. And they're like, let's have a let's have a full metal alchemist fucking summoning circle right here. What can go wrong? It's not like it's not like we can fuck it up. In which they fuck it up spectacularly. And then she gets her sister killed. <laughs> Ayumi gets her sister killed in the process. A sister which I didn't even knew existed <laughs> until that game. Um, so that happens. And then Naomi goes, you know what? It sucks, but I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it. We almost died. And that 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 would have been bad. And then Ayumi just being stupid, she's all like, but what if we tried again though? And that's how we got here. This whole entire game. This whole entire game, everyone's like, Ayumi, cut it out. You guys almost died literally like two days ago. Naomi, Naomi, you're going through some shit. And we get it. But we just got to let it rock. It sucks. We all, we all feel it. It all sucks. And then fucking... I wonder if I can go grab that, um, grab that board on the first floor now, cause, huh, damn it, but yeah, they fuck, they do that shit, and this whole entire game, everyone's like, Ayumi, don't do it, and then the new characters pop up, two of them are like super anime as fuck, one of them is like a little lowly girl with a scythe, and the other one's like, the cool guy with the hoodie on and he has psychic powers and then fucking the other one's just like one of the characters just like yeah I fuck around with spirit shit I use talismans and stuff or whatever but I don't got no superpowers I just kind of trade information and they basically all th well not all three of them two of them basically talk Ayumi into doing this shit again because she's like, I can bring him back. I mean, I fucked it up and got my sister killed last time. But what can possibly go wrong? And basically, that's how we got here. And then Kishinuma going, oh man, I gotta go in after this bitch. Because I love her. Meanwhile, Kishinuma's like risking his neck the whole entire series. So far, at least from what I've seen. And Satoshi, the character who most of the time just walks in the room and smiles and goes, I'm here to solve a problem, I guess, because I'm the main character, Loki. Somehow, Sato uh, Satoshi, who does, like, way less than Kishinuma, he's just swimming in pussy, like, all the time. <laughs> like, everyone's, like, autumn 100% of the time. It's like, come on, he does nothing. Yeah, but we do definitely do need the map in this game. That's for sure. What the? F I'm not even on the thing. You're supposed to appear when I step on that. Come on, the corner, really? Fucking rule thirty-four got a little bit too eager over there. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> And the place is called the middle of nowhere, but switched around. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Fucking. Oh. 
This is the lab room, right? This is the science room. I guess I'm just, I might just be really fucking bad with directions. I bet there's like, I've, <laughs> whenever I upload this playthrough to YouTube, there's definitely going to be someone who watches this and just constantly screams and goes, You didn't go in this room! Stop checking the same rooms! What's wrong with you? Fuck! That was my fault. That was 100% my fault. Ah! Aw, oh, damn it. Come on, swing. Fuck off. Oh. Damn it. I wasn't... I wasn't expecting there to be a hole right there. Glass. Be careful of the glass. Mindful of the glass. Mindful of the crack on the... Fuck you. There's a doorway down there that I wanted to check out. Oh, but I can't do anything with it because fucking there's... There's wooden boards on it! This can all be solved with me looking up a guide, but... I don't like looking up guides when I play games. Alright, cool. Oh, come on, Kishinuma, you're only at half health and you're fucking over here crying with your bullshit. Ain't that bad. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. First of all, I got a shit ton of these. Second of all, now I see it. Oh. That's really fucking stupid. I'm just going to point that out right now. So, the darkening system is in this game, and there's no meter for the darkening system, but you can see how Kishinuma's, like, side of the screen is darker than Ayumi's. That means he's getting more darkening on him, because this screen was definitely brighter before. Let's see. Pause the screen because you need to see the icons. What you mean? Like what? What are you talking about? Yeah, so Kishinuma's definitely got some of that darkening going on with him. And I can always head back upstairs. I have that, uh, I have that, that statue upstairs to help me out if I need it. I have not interacted with that. And you never died to it? Yeah, I never died to any of the darkening before in any of the other games. Well, actually, that's a lie. That's a 100% lie, because the first game... The first game, I just did something wrong, right? And I got an ending for it, which one of the characters got taken over by the Darkening. But I don't think it was like a direct cause of the Darkening effect. I think it was just me choosing a wrong choice at the time. Yeah, but that's kind of dumb. <laughs> that's kind of dumb. Like... Even when they explain the darkening to you, they don't tell you that's how you check it. Like, just give my character, like, a small little bar under them. Like, on the screen, to let me know. So, the ghost is that way. There's nothing up there for me. Fucking hell, I'm gonna go this way. Nothing's stopping me from going this way. Even though this is where I just came from, right? It's definitely where I just came from because I'm a fucking moron. And that leads upstairs. And the other one's just another staircase. I will say, if you do know where the location of the music room is at, feel free to tell me anytime. <laughs> I probably passed it like 50 fucking times already. Which is why, which is why I try to do my best with commentary. Try and be as joyful as possible. Meanwhile, I'm sucking, sitting here in a hot ass room. Um. Yeah, there's nothing down there for me. Yeah, I checked all that. Stairs, music room. And there's that fucking board that I can't pick up for some some stupid reason. 
characters are just pretending that it don't exist. Hmm. Music room, where are you? It would help if they had the piano ghost playing music. Music room key. Oh, come on. There's a ghost right there. It's a spirit. It's a bad spirit. And this is... This is the infirmary, right? Yeah, so there's the statue just in case I need it. Um, I'm gonna save my game. Alright. Let's see. Here's part of the game where I start running around recklessly. Because I just saved my game. And now I'm just gonna... Try and see what I can find. This isn't a room. And this leads to the third floor. Where, um... Where there's really nothing for me to do, right? Yeah, there's nothing for me to do over here. Can't go to the courtyard, because that's blocked off. Is... Where's the room with, like, the hole in it? Fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna run in here. Ah! Shit. Ow! Fuck! There's a room that has a hole in the wall, and, and like, I remember last stream I was trying to interact with it for like the longest time. And the character just was not having it. They're like, uh-uh, no way. Not doing that. Is this the room? Nope, it's not. Is that ghost still chasing me, or did I just completely outrun it? I didn't even think you can outrun them. Huh. Juke the shit out of a ghost. Can't go in here. Okay. Oh. Door's fixated to the wall. Can't pick this up for some reason. Go in the fucking hole in the wall. Jesus. Yeah, 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 I know you were there the whole entire time. I expected it. Ah, fuck. Just ran directly in the glass like a moron. And now we're back down here. Am I just, am I just like, <laughs> am I just running past the music room without even noticing? Is that what's going on here? Fuck off. Let me through. You guys really need to work on your cardio skills out here, you know what I mean? Ow. Come on, you're almost there. If you're gonna show up to, like, a haunted place infested with spirits and shit, I would say at least take a good week and a half, like, just doing cardio or something. So you know you can, like, at least get somewhere. Huh. I had no heartbeat there the whole entire time. I guess I just outran the ghost. I have a shit ton of bandages on me, too. So this way led to the gym. Down there was... <sighs> Fuck. 
then there must just be like a cabinet somewhere that I didn't check, I guess. That has like a hammer or something to help me remove nails. Or like remove boards off the wall, right? Maybe head back now. You know what? There's one room that I completely just didn't really do anything with. And that's because... Alright, Ayumi, uh, since you're the dumb one who likes to do the dangerous shit, Ghostly Presence in here. I don't give a fuck. Use it. It's Ghostly Presence everywhere. You're in a fucking... You're in a fucked up haunted school surrounded by spirits. Is my darkening getting worse? Oh, yeah, it is. The more I check that shit. <laughs> the more I check that... Okay, so there's nothing I can do with that. Hmm. I don't really care if I... I don't care that much if I die right now. Let's check the TV. Face burned into the screen. Cool. I might just have to look it up. Just so I know where the fuck the music room is at. Oh, fuck it. You got me this time, video game. You win this round. I just gotta know where the music room is at. Okay. Corpse Party, Blood Drive, Music Room Location. Where the hell am I going? The music room is a room is located in the second wing on the first floor. Second wing on the first floor? What? So that's... That's on the other... Wait. That's in the other school building, right? Because I'm on the first floor right now. And I can't go over there unless... Hold up. Please tell me we're not doing this dumb shit right now. It's not this way, it's down there. Please don't tell me we're doing this stupid shit right now. I'm gonna be really upset. Kishinuma, can you use your tough guy strength to move this? Oh. Oh, I have to press it in the right spot. What the fuck is this? Castlevania 2? So you don't, so you don't click it here, you know, where most people would do it. You click it right in the corner over here, right over here. That's a dumb choice. Oh, the charm's reacting to something. It's reacting to the bullshit. Oh man, it's reacting to something. We should check it out. Who has who has the least darkening? Well, Ayumi, you go. Since you're so tough. Wow. It's really coming down. When I came here before, I was attacked by a ghost of that Sanji girl. And Aki's body burst into flames. I don't know why I called her Aki. Holy crap, you serious? That's messed up. Can a person survive something like that? Yeah. God, I really hope she's okay. <laughs> Stop, don't even say that. Sorry. I'm sorry, it's a legitimate question, though. Alright, what's with the rock? There's an unsettling large number of human tongues lying... Oh, what the fuck? So what's over here? Is this the get killed zone? Oh. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> that's a that's a don't fuck with me statue right there. Uh-huh. Give it a good old pet. It's not a pillar, it's a statue of a wolf. Yeah, go ahead. Put put your foot put your head right there. Just do it. It's the smartest move you can possibly do right now. Something in its mouth. Let me just stick my whole face in it. 
Whoa, what the hell are you? My finger, just barely touching some kind of rock. Why would you just stick your hand in it? What the fuck are you, James Sunderland? Oh, let me just stick my hand in the toilet. <laughs> Think it'd easily be a trap. Lop that shit right off. Come on, don't be an idiot. Leave it alone. Shinozaki, get out of there. The hole goes even deeper. Just give me a second. Gee, that's what she said. Shinozaki, when I imagine you saying that, I didn't expect it in this sort of way. <laughs> the hole goes even deeper. I've reached as far as I could go. My whole left arm was now inside the statue. Uh-huh. Kishima was carefully, carefully feeling very uneasy about this. But he had every right to, especially given what he just seen the statue. <laughs> From the statue that I completely missed. Get the fuck over here! Hey! What? Just give me a second. Shinozaki, get your arm out of there right now. That thing moving. Huh? Oh, you dumbass. You fucking moron. Not like the sta- <laughs> Not like the statue's gonna bite me. <laughs> what? Stop! I don't want this! Alright, I should've just let it chop your arm off. What the hell are you saying? Your arm was a split second away from being bitten off. What? Are you okay? I look back at the statue and sure enough, the wolf's mouth was now firmly closed, his eyes gleaming menacingly at me. It just stood there. Menacingly. I'm sorry. Uh-huh, yeah, you should be. God damn, well at least you still got your arm. What's that in your hand? Huh? A crystal. It's the crystal from this pillar. Yep, that's about what it looks like. We start we stared at the pillar crystal for some time, studying it. For us to represent a rare... Wait, what? For us to represent... Wait, what? Oh! I'm adding a word in there like a moron. For us, it represented a rare success in this school where object failure was the norm. See? I told you there was something in there. You just got lucky. Oh, come on! It doesn't matter. You're safe. That's what's important. The justice has been obtained. Because I managed to get the crystal with my arm intact, the danger I barely escaped didn't feel quite as real. I can only regard this as a victory. It was relieved, was reveling in it. Kishinuma was still sour for a bit, but he quickly warmed up to the situation and let out a small laugh. Or maybe the night air had just gotten to him. Maybe it was the darkening. Huh. Something written on it. Pool pump room. Oh god, the pool room? Let's not go in there no more. Remember that, Ayumi, from the first game? <laughs> Alright. Pillar one down. Damn it, we got drenched out there. Where the fuck are you going? Here, look, Kishinima. There's a towel. It's all covered in dust, though, isn't it? Don't you bring that thing near me. Uh-uh, leave it there. I'd rather dry up. I'd rather air dry. No, it's surprisingly clean. Here, you can have the first wipe. Huh? What's wrong? After you dry yourself off, give it to me. My hair is mopped right now. Oh, okay, sure. Why did she... <laughs> Why did I think she wanted me to wipe her down? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? Why is she thinking one? Who the fuck thinks that? Whatever, Yoshiki. What the hell's wrong with me? What is the hell wrong with you, man? You can have the first wipe. Like, what? <laughs> Come on, wipe me down. Come touch my body, body. All right, now that we're in this building, I know where the music room is at. <laughs> He's like, how come? How come I was thinking? Huh. Let me tell you, because you weren't thinking. You thought you were thinking. And that was your first problem. You thought. 
all right. Let's just pull this out. I gotta refill the batteries in this, too. I got a shit ton of batteries. Yep. Remember that time where you had to put AA batteries in your fucking smartphone? Me, too. Uh, music room is down here, right? If memory serves me correctly. Just keep an eye out for those, uh... Those tripwires. What? Sounds of angry spirits emanating from within this room. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> All right. Music room. Here it is. Tripwire right there, as plain as day. Gonna check over here just in case there's like a bandage or something. Nope. Alright, cool. A lonely chair. Alright. What's with this portrait? Portrait above black with all creepy glowing eyes. Does the body... Alright, how good are we doing on darkening? I think we still got a couple of, uh... Things to go, you know? I'm assuming I gotta check the bodies and see... And see if there's any item in here. Check the desk, maybe? Hmm. The fuck is the point of me coming to the music room, then? Just to collect the name tag? Come on. Well, I guess given that- I guess given the, um, spirit, the... The milk bun was optional, so... At this point, I'm just hoping that there's another, another statue for me to use, um, to get my darkening down, because I honestly don't feel like running all the way back to the infirmary. No, on a save point. Nice. Look at how, look at how separated all these files are. <laughs> They're not even, like, in a pattern or anything, just, like, sporadically put everywhere. The charm's reacting to something. Okay. Don't answer. Oh, look at that. Seen enough, uh, seen enough hentai to know where that goes. <laughs> that joke will never get old. I will say it to the end of time. Uh-oh. Just walk on through over here. You didn't see anything, ghost. Just mind your own fucking business. Going upstairs. Sinister aura. Okay. Guess I'm not. Get juked. We're gonna be safe here, don't worry. Jesus fuck. How the hell do you even see me? Ugh. Can I go in here? Nope. I'm guessing that room is connected. What about this one? Open up, bitch. Hey. Make me feel good. Fuck off. Jesus. I'm too tired to escape properly. I'm gonna have to... Ah, fuck, come on! Thought I can thread the needle there. Come 
Come on, let's go in the music room. Let's have some fun. Let's dance the waltz. So I can leave your ass and wow, I just ran directly into that. That was a smart move of me to Son of a bitch! <laughs> Jesus! I hate this game! Get in that shit! Now if he spots me, I'm dead. Which... Alright dude, you were all the way downstairs. You were down those steps. You made no sense. Yeah, that's right Kishinima, get up so you can drop dead. I guess when you transition into a room, and if the locker's right there, it counts as them still being in eye shot, even though they're not in the room. What the hell? Oh, I clicked on back. Alright, cool. How do I, uh, how do I skim through that? I know there's like a fast forward button. Um, so, I'm just gonna keep my eye out. I'm trying to look upwards and see if the ghost is, oh, it's right there. I see you. I see you. I want you to go past so I can sneak on past you like so. Cool. Head up here. Kishinuma, you definitely need it more than I do. I'm hoping it affects both characters. Hmm. No, not really. The darkening makes your character's skin darker. <laughs> That's a bad thing. <laughs> what the fuck, video game? Oh. Okay, wait a minute. One of the bookshelves been knocked over, blocking the path. Might be possible crawling there, but only for someone smaller. Oh, girlish frame. Okay. You can't come over here. Stay over there. On your side. Oh, come on. Since we're gonna fucking do this song and dance over again, come on. Bring it on, you son of a bitch. Oh, there's two- What? When did the second one see me? What the fuck? Oh, I guess they hit me. I thought I was far enough away. Can't go through there. I can go through here. Get on through, girl. Opening one seems like every page has been completely overridden. Alright. Nothing? Now, did they follow me in this room? I'm gonna have to check your body, okay? I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to check it. You might have an item on you. The blunt object from behind. Okay. Struck with the blunt object from behind. Ghost over here? Of course they are. Oh, I'm guessing that's where, uh... Um, Aiko locked up her friend. Fucking glass. I saw it, and I still stepped in it like a moron. I think I should be safe. I feel like this one is actually safe this time. Give it a couple seconds. It might turn red. Nope, we're good. Alright, catch your breath, girl. 
See if we can sneak past that ghost up there. If not, then we're in deep shit. I can't even see if the ghost is up there. Wish I had up. Oh, fuck you. Talisman, talisman, please. Ah, fuck. Come here. Nope. Bandage. I'm not gonna open that locker. It's not what I'm gonna do. Seems like a very smart idea to not open that. Ishinuma, use your man strength. Come on, you, you were able to move the other ones. Why can't you move these? Alright. Well, nice to know that you're useless to me. Now, was there a room up here? Because there's the room that we can't enter. And this room we definitely can't go into. Let me just... Before I interact with that, just in case... Just in case one of the tentacles lash out and stab me. Justice! Okay, I tried my best. Completely wrapped around the door. Oh... Are you fucking kidding me? Guess we are gonna open that locker. Gonna need the axe to hack hack that shit down. You go up there, and I will run past you. Ah! Fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, nice having you here, Ronnie. I wish you all the best in your endeavors. I'm gonna have to take the axe! Yep. Expected it. Just hide in here real quick. I think I made some good distance. Oh. Oh. I was about to step out the locker, but it changed. Oh, no, we're good. Guess he just looked around the corner. He said, what? what's happening over here? Oh, man, where'd you guys go? There we go. Hack this bitch. Visible ends of each tentacle have been sliced off completely, and what's left of them immediately withdraws into the room. Withdraws into the room. Yeah, okay. It is a smart idea. <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? Some kind of black magic, maybe. Oh, you fucking think? Gives me the creeps, whatever it is. There's an enormous jet black tree. Sprouting from the middle of the classroom. Damn. Sure wasn't something like that in here last time around. This isn't the same heavenly host uh, that it was last time around. We can't rely on what we know from before. But this it isn't like any pillar I've seen. It's a tree. I mean, a tree is nature's pillars. This is definitely like a boss fight puzzle room thing going on here. Damn, don't scare me like that. Don't scare you like what? Huh? Wait, I can just... Wait. So what... Then what the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought like someone locked the door or something. Alright, well we got some paintings. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Okay. What does this say? Huh. I don't want to mess with it. 
Maybe I maybe I need fire or something. Let's see. How about this? How about before I start messing with anything crazy? Before I start messing with anything crazy out here, right? Save the game. At the base of the tree, among all the split roots, there was a wooden plate displaying words written in what looked more like red paint than blood. Someone has come. Someone is here. They're here. Here. So, what do we do with them? When we will take our next trophy, I hope soon. And how shall we kill them this time? Living humans! I hate them so! Lifeblood is detestable. Oh, how I hate them all. I must snuff them out. The murmurings of vengeful spirits could be heard all around us, and mixed within them was a dull tone that resonated through my body, like ringing in my ears. What the? This doesn't feel right. Oh, oh, this doesn't feel right, but everything else does. Kishinuma must have heard it too. Based on his reaction, all the colors had drained from his face. Like a record player, uh, like a record player needle skipping, the faint unpleasant tone continuing to repeat over and over, echoing within us. If you guys ever been to a place where, like, like, like at night, you know, during the summertime, cicadas come out and, like, they make the loud buzzing noise as they're, like, you know, as their fucking, like, intimidation sound or whatever. If you're in a place that echoes a lot and you hear that shit, the noise gets inside your head and it's just this fucking irritating ass, like, true ringing in your head and it just fucking hurts. I hate it. It's beyond, like, just hearing the noise. Like, it gets inside your head, and you can feel the vibration. It sucks. I feel like if I stayed any longer than I had to, my head would burst. You okay, Ayumi? I was hyperventilating. Hey, where are we? This is a classroom, right? All we can be sure of is that this isn't the world we know. Both of us were trembling, and even Kishinuma's breathing had become erratic. The, trep the trepidation, that's a word, the trepidation that rocked us down to our cores was something that could never truly be described. If you haven't felt it, and I pray you haven't, you never understand. Again, I just, I basically just explained it. It's like, yeah, that, that like, ringing, that super loud ringing that it's beyond the point of hearing it, it's just vibrating your body. Part of it, most, uh, part of it, most of it, probably was due to the fact that we were literally standing in a place that operated on its own logic. Nothing we ever learned or experienced applied. I focused my attention back into the wooden plate by the roots. There was a charm hanging from it, fashioned out of wood plank beyond. Oh wait, what? Beyond, fashioned out of wooden plank bound with this bound with thin rope. I can't read. The rope was looped over its surface into a perfectly patterned mesh, giving it a texture that looked much like a bird's feather or a bee's nest at first glance. What is that? An Indian charm, or that's what it looks like anyways. But I'm not getting a very positive feeling from it. I'm not getting positive feelings from it, bro. It's not vibing with me. My breaths were coming in short, choppy bursts at this point, but I had to keep, walk, uh, keep working towards my goal. I clenched the charm in my hands, biting my lips, and preparing for the worst. Oh shit. You done fucked us, girl! The door fixated to the walls like a model that shows uh, indentation that there was never meant to be open. Fuck! Someone's here. Someone's here. Oh god, they're slowly coming after me. What? Huh? It's the pillar crystals. It's beautiful. I like the... Oh, you mean what the fuck is that face you're making right now? It's beautiful. It feels like warm water streaming out of it and coursing through my body. Seriously? Oh. Huh. How's your darkening going? Oh, you really didn't get messed up that bad. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, that was relative. That relatively went well. Huh. Let me see. Okay. Huh. Well, that's another one down. We, uh, we haven't really gone upstairs yet, have we? Ow, fuck. Let's be a little bit more careful out here. Uh, who's injured more? Oh no, we're both around the same level. Okay. Let's just take this out. This was the music room. So we're good so far. Um, actually, you know what? Give me one moment because I have to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to take a quick five minute break and be right back.
All right. So we are back. Let me just make sure I get situated in my chair, right? And my wonderful lounging chair that I should buy a new one of and replace because this is pretty old. Screws are starting to fall out of this chair. But it's so expensive. It's like, to get a good chair is like at least 300 bucks. And I would like to get one with like a cup holder in it. But um, we're back. More course party. I gotta say that, oh, let me move my mouse, my cursor out the way. Um, I have to say, you know, usually before these streams, my glasses are fogging up, what the fuck? Usually before these streams, um, where the hell am I, by the way? Oops. Where am I? Um, this is the music room, right? Yeah, okay, this is the music room. Alright, cool. Uh, usually, before these streams, you know, I don't really eat anything, right? But, um, shit, I lost my train of thought already. Usually before the streams, I don't really eat anything. And, you know, for the past month and a half, I've been eating, like, really clean. Like, no junk whatsoever. Like, I barely eat fast food to begin with, but I mean, like, straight up, like, no junk at all. Like, not even, like, not even, like, ice creams or, like, even, like, a hamburger or whatever. And I'm, I'm not even talking about just, like, fast food. I'm talking about just, like, a regular burger because, you know, it's just it's a lot of calories when I look at it. But, uh, where am I going to save this? Jesus, fuck. I wish they gave me different icons. Okay, so this is the one that's getting override. Cool. Um, yeah, but tonight, tonight I had a, I had a, I had some McDonald's, but it wasn't like a lot or anything. It was, uh, all I had was one McDouble, which is like a small hamburger, around like 320 cows, right? And like, for once, for once, McDonald's fucking ice cream machine was working, so I got myself an Oreo McFlurry. And I guess my body just got used to eating cleanly so much that just... Not gonna lie, I feel a little, I feel a little bloated tonight. A little bloated, and a little gassy. <laughs> Might be too much information, but it's just that my body's like, What have you done to me? You've been taking care of me so much. Why? Why have you forsaken me like this? All right, let's see. Let me take this out so I don't hit any trip wires. That's what I'm scared of, because those things hurt like hell. Uh, downstairs. Nothing down here. Hmm. Surprised we haven't ran into a. We haven't run into anybody yet. I thought we at least would have saw someone by now. Huh. This the library room? Girls Lavoratory. The Lavoratory. Ah, oh, there's a hanging good little hanging uh, thing happening over there corpse. Got some batteries. Batteries are good. Batteries are not included. Okay, so only batteries in there. Nothing crazy. Cool. Let's run on upstairs. And there's that. Hmm. What do we have on us right now? Batteries, music room key, pump room key. Pump room key. Where the fuck is the pump room? Where do I go to pump it up? Not over here, right? Pump room. Pump room. Might be, uh... 
might be in the first wing, right? This is the first... Oops. Let me just... Hold up. Now that I think about it. Let me just head down here. Double check. There's no doorway. Gotcha. Alright, cool. I'm guessing the other room, like upstairs, that's blocked off. I'm assuming there's room behind all that grody shit on the wall. I'm assuming that's gonna be the uh, principal's office. Pump room key. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna have to head over here then. Check it out for ourselves. Just be careful of what the hell we're doing. Um... Now, if the pump room was over here, I assume it would be down here and near the front entrance, right? Is there still a ghost over here? No? Is there a doorway over here? No. Hmm. Okay. Pump room. What else do I- I still have an axe on me, right? Justice, pump room key, music room, alcohol lamp. Oh, so my axe is gone. My axe is fucking gone. That's weird. Okay, well... If that's the case... I have to check. With the right tool. With honor on our side. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Ow, fuck. Did I? Damn it. <laughs> My dumbass. Huh. Alright, well, let's go check the. Let's check the other school building again. Give it a thorough sweep down, you know what I mean? Because last thing we want to do is just have to run around like we did earlier. But we talked about some fun things. We talked about Scooby-Doo <laughs> in Riverdale. Oh, man. I will have to say, I will have to say, that's a weird way of me phrasing that. <laughs> I want to say that actually today I managed to finally fulfill kind of a kind of a personal goal of mine, I guess. And I've uh, I've watched the entirety of Family Guy. The entirety, not in one day, of course. Of course, it took like you know some breaks here and there, but basically over the span of like, if I were to sit down and you know talk about real time of watch family guy probably about like probably about like a good ooh good two weeks maybe maybe not two weeks straight but like you know a good uh definitely definitely a good week <laughs> definitely a good a good week a solid fucking week All right of course, that's me assuming how long it would take if you were just sitting down watching it all. Um, but there's nothing in here for me, right? Got everything that I needed in here. Just want to make sure. But yeah, watch the. Oh nope, hold up. Crowbar. Exactly what I needed. Beautiful, mm, beautiful, darling. Beautiful. Oh yeah, watch the entirety of Family Guy. And, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, there are some choices that were made, there are some direct, like, fourth wall breaking, 
there is just there is everything under the fucking sun and you know i say there's everything under the sun but you kind of get a little surprise as like right now family guy is like on their 20th season 22nd season somewhere around that it's either 20th or 22nd and they're still i mean to to no one's surprise right well, maybe to some people's surprise, because you're used to catching, like, reruns of Family Guy. Um, but to, to a nice, so a bittersweet surprise, I guess, is uh, <laughs> the, last, the last episode of Family Guy that came out was actually two days ago <laughs> on Hulu. And it's just like... They get to you, early Family Guy. Everyone, everyone will always say early Family Guy is one of the best parts, and that's true, right? But then there's a bit after earlier Family Guy where it catches its true footing, right? And then there's things that change over time where it's like, first of all, uh, for the one anyone who grew up with Family Guy, you would go like, oh yeah, Stewie had a rivalry with this baby named fucking Bertram. That was like his, that was like his basically his biological brother, right? You know, his biological half-brother, at least. Um, and for the longest time, people would be like, Yeah, he had, like, this rivalry with the baby, and, you know, it lasted for a long time. You sit there and you watch, like, all the series, and Bertram only shows up in, like, four, maybe five episodes, and they just quickly throw his ass away. Because, let's be honest, Bertram as a character just fucking sucked, and he was boring. He was boring, he sucked. And then, it's not until, you know, after that, you have uh, Stewie and Brian, their whole dynamic happening. And then it's not until way later, like in the more recent seasons, like maybe in like the 19th season or something, where Stewie gets kind of a new rival, but it's not like on the level of Bertram, where like, you know, Stewie would like be in these fucking like helicopters and shit and like fighting with his ray gun and stuff like that his little toy ray gun instead of that his new rival is just like some pompous ass kid who just kind of like one-ups him in like a real chad ass manner of like oh you can count to four well i can count to five <laughs> and that's like the extent of the rivalry and that dynamic works out way more than Bertram. Also, you know, Stewie doesn't want to kill his family as much anymore. Sometimes he reverts a little bit back to his old self. <laughs> this way. Over here, Kishinuma. Okay. Hold on, don't go by yourself. Slow down. You okay, Ayumi? We're almost there. We're almost there, everybody. Hey. Is this really where it is? No doubt about it. See? The charm's reacting. I remember this place from the first game on that playthrough. Mistakes were made. <laughs> but this is that locker room. Same old showers as last time. And same old cubbies too. Just as creepy as ever. Yeah. Those cubbies are peculiarly... Oh God, I can't even say the word. Particularly, peculiarly, what the hell is wrong with me? Particularly creepy. I really hope we don't have to go digging around them like last time. I think if I remember correctly, in the first game, they start looking through the cupboards and then she just, she just like gets possessed <laughs> for a good moment. She starts like staring at walls and shit. Her eyes are like wide open and Kishinoma's was like, hey, hey, snap out of it. What are you doing? Gee, what is it? I don't know. Didn't you just hear something? God, don't scare me like that. Don't scare you like that. Do you see where the fuck we're at? <laughs> what? Sorry. What? Was that a ghost? I didn't. I'm going to tell you right now what happened. I blinked and I didn't even see it. I think I saw a ghost. I'm not sure if it was a ghost. It could have been a ghost. What the hell? Is that a ghost? 
You know what? Before before I start doing anything crazy, let me just let me just check around. Cause in the first game, they hit some sly shit around here. It was like, oh, don't do this. Make sure you read the rules. Turning the handle produces a small trickle of dark red fluid from above. Ugh. Buckets filled to the brim with large number of nails, blades, and shards of glass. Ugh. Don't want to touch any of that, that's for sure. How are we doing on darkening? We're good. Okay, cool. Here we go again with this shit. The old pool. Definitely not a fan of this place, that's for sure. Can't remember it too clearly, but... Didn't I almost drown here before? You know, I don't remember it. But didn't I almost drown here before? And you know, I'm just so forgetful sometimes. How you not remember that? Yeah, and I don't really want to go through that again, so let's not do any diving this time around, okay? Well, it's not like I want to be here. Now, Ayumi, you want to say that again with a straight face and not fucking lie to me? Because you definitely wanted to be here. We're here because of you. Can you stop running ahead? Jesus, fuck. You're impossible to deal with, lady. Oh, and I can't switch characters now. We literally just said, hey, girl, remember this place and how fucked it was? She just starts running off by herself. The stones react, uh, reacting. Stones indicating, wait, indicating it's in the water. Okay. You serious? How can you possibly know that? Look, the closer I hold it to the water, the stronger it reacts. Don't you fucking drop it. Yeah, but the water's full of all kinds of debris. There's no way we can get in there safely. I guess not. Good. Now let's go. Okay. Well, that... Wait. I just want to check it out. This gap is way too wide to jump. It's got to be something we can use to cross it. Okay, now I guess... I guess now we can go upstairs and grab the board. Cool. Let's do that. Because I was trying to grab the board earlier, and we couldn't do it. Also, I don't want to run on the pool side. I think that was one of the rules in the first game. It's like, no running. No running. <laughs> I was like, no running? What do you mean, no running? All I can do is run. All right. Let's put that away for a bit. All right, so we're on the first floor. Yeah, down here. Cool. We're going to run up on... Is it on the second floor or the first floor? Right, what I'm trying to grab. I think it's on the second floor. Okay. Should be on the other side of this hallway. Is this... Okay, the ghost is there. I'm just gonna... Run on past you. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no ghost over here. Just the one. So, I think I should be safe for the most part. For the most part. And then over here, they might spawn a ghost once I pick it up, though. They might do that. Good old piss bucket. Nice to see you again. Come on, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Kishinuma. Grab it. Grab it. Firmly grasp it. Jesus, fuck. Are you kidding me? I really can't. Come on. Come on. You need it. You need it. I know you need it. Just grab the damn thing. Maybe I'm standing too close to it. 
Maybe there's a sweet spot. Come on, man. It's right there. It's asking for your attention and your love, and you just don't want to give it. Just don't want to give it that attention or love. Our Darkening's doing pretty good. I'm not worried about it right now. We still have that statue in the infirmary that we have yet to use. Uh, this... This is where we just came from. And up here is the gym, so let's head on over there. Now, was there a uh, ghost over here? No, we're good. Okay, cool. Oh, it's locked. Okay, damn it. That one's boarded up. Wait, we don't have the crowbar no more, right? We used it? Oh, I guess that's the only door we can pry open. Alright, well, guess I can turn the valve. That was the last thing I wanted to do. I felt like I was going in unprepared, but, you know. Alright. There's rust and mold around the spigot. Spigot? Spickle spackle? We need something to cross. There's that board up there. Nothing in the cabinets. It bothers me. I really hope it's not like a... I really hope it's not like a glitch. I feel like... You know, just... I don't want to, but just to be safe, just to be safe, to make sure that I'm on the right track here, right? Just in case it is a glitch. I want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that the, uh, that it's not glitched out, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, see, no spoilers. Want to make sure. Check the gym. There should be a wooden board there. Okay, so it's a wooden board in the gym, not the one that's, like, upstairs, that's, like, on the wall. Okay, and I just gotta find a way to get into the gym. Alright, cool. That's cool. That's all I wanted to know. All I want to know is that, can I actually interact with that thing? And if not, that's fine. Um... I need to find some sort of gym key. Some sort of gym key. The, exactly, the gym key is what I need. But I guess I'm... Hmm, since I can't do anything... In the, in the pool area... And I grab that crowbar, right? There's not much I can do. Unless... I don't know. Door to the gym's locked. Last thing I want to do is, like, start searching rooms again, like, aimlessly. 
but I might, I might have to do that. I could have sworn that, you know what, here's what's going to happen. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head over to the courtyard. I'm going to check the other side of the courtyard because I didn't, I really didn't get to check it. I assumed that I was done there after the uh, dog statue stuff. And then we're going to check over there. Maybe there might be a gym key sitting around over there somewhere. And if not, then I'm going to run upstairs and check that, check the cabinet that they keep going like, oh man, this cabinet feels weird. I'm just going to look over here real quick, see if there's like a key sitting somewhere. No. Dog statue is fine. There's no. I don't see any items hanging around. Okay. Now I'm going to run upstairs real quick and just check out the uh. Check out the room upstairs. I didn't want to check the infirmary, but since I'm here, might as well, right? Now, will the ghost see me the moment I walk, walk out? I really hope not. Alright. This is what we're doing? We're doing this. I should be safe. Give it a moment. Have the ghost check the area. All right, we're good. Um, hmm. There's a cabinet in one of the rooms here. Guess I can also check this clock. It's not in this room, that's for sure. Come on, open it up. Oh, can't get in that room. Okay, cool. It's not this room. I can tell just by looking at it. Hmm. Well, it's not any of the rooms upstairs, right? And it's a downstairs room? I wouldn't imagine it to be a room downstairs, but I guess it is. Back to the pool area. It might be this room. Nope, it's not this room, that's for sure. I also want to check the janitor's room again. Maybe, like, we can find another key in there now. Since we checked the, uh, pool area. Okay. Nothing in there. Hmm. Need a way to get into... It's not this room. How's our darkening looking? Yushinoma seems pretty fine. Darken me up a little bit.
I'm trying to remember this room. And this is the gym. Okay. And I found nothing in the music room. That's what gets me. We went to the music room and there was a whole lot of nothing. So what the hell do I do? Can't get in the gym. Can't fully explore the pool side. Music room was kind of useless. Hmm. There's gotta be a gym door key somewhere, right? I might need to head back to the pool room. Check the cubbies or something. You know what? Let's do that. Let's head back to the pool room. And just interact with as much shit as we possibly can. Because I don't, I don't feel like that they would allow me to go in there, but then need me to still turn around and search for something. I feel like the answer has to be in there. Nothing inside the cabinets or the cubbies. Nothing in there. Sorry, Kishinuma. Last thing I want to do is risk you getting hit with the darkening real bad, but you know. Drowned from- drowned because he tried to drink from the bucket? Is that what that said? Hmm. Trust the mold around it. I shouldn't be fucking running around the goddamn pool. It's the last thing I want to do. Oh, batteries are dying. Keep that shit alive. There's no way that we need to swim in there. There's no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way we need to swim in there. The characters literally just sat here and express how they don't want to do that. <laughs> how they're just like, last thing we should possibly do is take a dip. Listen, I'm already soaking wet from the drip I already got. I don't need to drip no more. <laughs> Alright. Well, time for me to do the stupid thing. Let's hop on in that pool, baby. Let's go for a dip. Hiya. All right, I guess not. Got to use something across it. The power of justice. Yeah, that won't get us across. Maybe the body over there has a key on it? It's the only thing I can think of right now. I don't know where else I would find the gym room key. I'm 
Drown after leaping into the pool. Ugh. <laughs> I was just sitting here going like, I'm gonna jump in the pool. Glad that I didn't. Check the mirror. Besides from your reflection, there's nothing unusual there. No matter what, it's still just you. Um, maybe... Now, I'm not sure if I saw a ghost or not. I might have saw a ghost, and maybe it's trying to direct us somewhere. Let's check over here again. Might be something new going down over here. Oh, hold up. Oh, I thought I saw something shine for a moment. I guess I was just seeing shit. Hmm. Where the fuck? Nothing up there for me. Then I guess, I guess I'm just gonna check the, uh, the other schoolhouse again. Nothing in the cubbies over here, right? I'm gonna have Ayumi take the lead for a bit. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. It's the music room. There was I found nothing in the music room. There's blood on the ground. Oh shit! My dumbass sat there and just straight up walked right onto it, like an idiot. For no reason whatsoever. Just pure stupidity. The one chair in the corner. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. What the hell the music room is about. Maybe we come back here later or something. Cabinet? Assorted organs inside. Over here, they talked about... Yeah, some angry spirits in there, so you don't want to go in there. Alright. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I know over here there's the ghost. The one ghost. This leads to this room. Was there not anything else in here besides the axe? Yeah, I guess it was just the axe, huh? Come on, Jim Key, where are you? I need you. I'm gonna run past over here. Did you see me? Ah, fuck. <laughs> yep, it saw me. Alright, cool. Ah, ran directly in the glass like a fucking moron. It's okay, Ayumi, you got it. Full sprint, girl. Safe. Hiding here? Ghost will never find me. I'm a master at hide and seek. Where'd he go? You don't know. Where did he go? He's invisible. Ghost is looking for me though. That's for damn sure, cause the ring won't change color. Go away. Come on. It's a very persistent ghost. 
You gotta wait till it turns blue. <sighs> oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on. Oh well. I'm gonna stake her. Oh, no. Still searching around for me. Oh, there we go. All right, it's blue now. Cool. So we're good. Hmm. There's the room over there. There's nothing over there. We have to check the room up here. I just need to know... Okay, the ghost is over there. There's another ghost in this room through the bookshelves. Ah, what the fuck did I step on? I didn't step on nothing. It's a goddamn tripwire. Jesus, Kishnuma, you take the lead. There's something in the cabinet. Now, I'm not a f I'm not a scholar, right? Pretty sure that's not a cabinet. But I got a talisman. Which can only mean one thing. One very useful thing. Be gone, demon! Alright. Now the only ghost I gotta worry about is the one over here. <laughs> the one that I... Uh, I couldn't even get past this area before. And I don't even have anything new on me, so it's not even worth it. And I know for a fact there's no item over there. What the f- I did not mean to press that. And how did you see me? <laughs> how did you- How did you see me, good sir? God, Kishinuma. Don't run out of breath. Don't run out of breath. Get on up in there. Give it a moment. It's blue, give it like a little bit of a moment. Ghost was still behind me. My turn green. Nope, we're good. Alright. So... There's no reason for me to go back in that room. Oh wait, what the fuck? How are you still here? You're supposed to go back in your own room. Let me reset it. I might be able to reset the room by just going in and out. Should not be a ghost out here. And this is locked. There should not be a ghost out here. Okay, cool. Uh, I think there's a ghost in that cabinet up there, unless it's completely gone. And... Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Let's try just going to the third floor. Sinister or Okay, so that's still there. So that's still... I still can't go over there. So, so far... So far, this side of the building's been thoroughly checked. No gym key to be found. I checked that cabinet. I think I checked this cabinet, right? Check this cabinet. This is the music room. There's evil fucky spirits over there in those two rooms over there. Well, I say two rooms. They're the same room. Nothing in the cupboards. What's in here? Is this the bathroom? This is the bathroom. I think... I think I checked the bathroom already. Can I open this? That I can. It was worthless. Not worth my time. Hmm. There's this little downstairs compartment down here that leads to nothing. <laughs> 
got to be like a secret door around here or something, right? Might have relevance later in the game. Because I can't, I can't imagine there just being stairs that leads to a dead end. It's got to be like a sealed room or something down there. Okay. This is the other side. Floor two. I don't think I found anything in here. There's like a dead body hanging in here. I didn't really check that much over here though. Kishinuma? Oh wait, what? Thankfully a stall door with the creepy pagan symbol seems to be either locked or broken. It simply refuses to open. Get all that darkening inside you, buddy. Name tag rests besides the corpse. Hang, hang self in bathroom after going mad from vengeful spirits. <laughs> Just gonna close that back up. So, they didn't have an item on them. How you feeling, Kishinuma? You're still doing alright? Alright, cool. Can I have Kishinuma, like, move these out the way? Because you can move the other desk, but you can't move these. Okay, cool. Hmm. And then there's all that's left. It's just looking upstairs, but it's just another dead end, right? Yeah, it's just this. Ugh! I don't like that I was able to put my body into it. Did that affect me in any way? Was my health always that low? Huh. <sighs> Go in there, buddy. Check the symbols. Alright, well, I can say that this building has been thoroughly searched, and the gym, the gym, uh, fuck, I can't even speak. The gym room key, gym key or whatever, I don't fucking know. The key to the gym, let's say it like that. At least I sound like, at least I sound like I'm speaking, I'm speaking proper a little bit. The key to the gym is nowhere to be in this area. Is that? Okay, that was the first floor. Mind the glass, don't step on it. You hurt your little, your little toesies. Help, wait, what? Help me has been carved into, okay. That wasn't there before. I don't think it was. There was nothing in the courtyard. And then I checked... I checked a good number of things around the poolside, so... Hmm. Guess I gotta find that. All I can think about right now is that there's the one cabinet where... <coughs> where the characters kept saying... Both Ayumi and Kishinuma, they're just saying like, Man, this don't feel right. I'm gonna leave that cabinet alone over there. It's the only thing I can think of right now. And I think there's still a spirit in this hallway, right? There's also the infirmary. Let me just check the cabinets in the infirmary. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. And my darkening is still fine, so I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that wonderful... A wonderful idol over there. There's definitely a lot of uh, back and forth in this game. Wait, oh, come on. Don't get tired, don't get tired. Just keep running. Just keep running. I said don't get tired, you son of a bitch. Never seen somebody so out of shape. We're doing good. And we're good. All right. This room still has the spirit in it, I think. I think that room still has the spirit in it.
check the third floor. There shouldn't be anything in the third floor for me, especially on this side, but, you know, anything can change. Boys Laboratory. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And I think that was the door that I was advised not to open. Oh yeah, that's where uh, that's where I almost drowned. <laughs> All trophies displayed. Okay. That area has been thoroughly sur uh, searched. Can't speak. Cannot speak. Not now. I'm gonna check this room. You know, just to be thorough. But I, I'm pretty sure there's a spirit in here that wants to kill me. That wants to just munch my face. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, glass right there. My dumb ass didn't even notice. All right. I just got to just got to drag you far enough. Far enough so that I can make a break for it. Ow, fuck. Come on. Oh, uh, Kishinima, you suck. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. We're good. You're not going to find me. We're good. It's safe. Come on. Come on, no. No, that's bad. That's bad, that's real bad. Okay. Fucking leave. The hell is the ghost doing out there? Oh, come on. No. Go away. <laughs> Go the fuck away. <laughs> You're toying with me. Come on. I really hope it's not because my character's out of breath. That might be the case. Might be the case. But the ghost is definitely still out there. And it does not want to leave. Oh, God. All right. Next time it turns red. Next time it turns red, I'm going to give it a minute. All right. Okay. All right. That's bad. That's real bad. All right. You're, you're too red. Go away. Oh, God. Ah, fuck. It's definitely because I'm out of breath. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more strategic. Catch your fucking breath, man. <laughs> Come on, Kishinima. Hold up. Cool. Come on, swing and miss. Ah, what the fuck? Oh, I stepped on glass. I thought I got hit by the ghost. All right, I think that's good. I think that's good. Come on. Should be fine. This time we should be fine. Go away. You're not going to find me. Go away.
I think the ghost just, the ghost might just be getting stuck on the wall or something. Maybe that's why it's not going away. It's trying to go away, but it can't. I might just have to outrun the ghost. Oh, come on. Come on, turn green. It's the, it's the best game of red light, green light I've ever played in my life. So yeah, I, I think the ghost is just completely glitched out at this point. Yeah, because it's... Ah, fuck. Fucking same piece of glass. Yeah, the ghost is, like, hanging around the door. Alright, let's see if I can... See if I can kind of entice the ghost to actually get back in the room it's supposed to be in. Oh. Did I just straight up outrun the ghost? <laughs> Even though it's right there. I outran the ghost. Okay. There you go, Kishinuma. Uh, pretty sure it's okay to go in this room. Ghost probably respawns where it's supposed to be. And I think, yeah, this is the room with the cabinet that they keep going like, this is a weird cabinet. Before I look at that one, let me check these. Something not quite right about this cabinet. Push it on its side. Hmm. Alright. This takes us to the third floor. Ah! Fucking... Son of a bitch. <laughs> this fucking glass. Glass shouldn't even fucking... It shouldn't even affect me. We're wearing shoes. At least I assume we're wearing shoes, right? Do, uh... Do they wear slippers in... In, like... In, like, school at in Japan? Okay, let's put that away. First of all, let's put that away. He doesn't get- no. You stay over there. You stay over there, ghost. Alright, I don't think- I don't think there's anything over there for me to grab anyways. Yeah, no, I don't see anything over there. I should- I should just- I should just check it. Just be very sure. Okay, yep. Be very thorough about it. Ah, fucking son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to outrun you. Come on. I need you to come this way. I need you to come this way. I think I have enough stamina. Should be fine. Alright. I think we're good. Give it a couple of seconds. Count down. Three. Two. One. Crystal. So upstairs, that that whole area, I just checked that out. Checked out these two rooms. Oh wait, the ghost is still there, but it didn't notice me, to be fair. See, I don't think I should 
Yeah, I sh should need to check that one because that's where I found that's where I found the dead bird. <laughs> what was its name? Cheapers. Gave the fucking bird skeleton to a ghost, and she's all like, "Oh, it's Cheapers." I'm so annoyed that I just can't pick that up. I think there's a ghost in here, too. Let's be careful. Ayumi, can you... Still don't want to go on through? Alright, cool. Just checking. I don't want to walk through the room. Just in case there is a spirit in there. I want to just peek from the other side. So I don't activate it. I guess, I guess maybe the only room I haven't checked out now is the science lab, which should be up here. Still baffled that I can't pick this up. It might be a glitch. It might actually just be a glitch. Uh, not the item it's, well... Maybe not a glitch, maybe like just an oversight, because it's probably the wooden board that I already used in like an earlier chapter. But maybe they just forgot to to delete the item because <laughs> it's still there. Because apparently I'm supposed to get a board from the... um. Okay, that's not a doorway. Apparently I'm supposed to get the board from... From the, uh, whatchamacallit? From the gym. But I need a key for the gym. And I think I checked everything in the pool area. Right? Oh god, am I so gonna... Okay, I thought I was gonna hurt myself on that. There's something inside this cabinet. Talisman. Okay. Nice to have that, at least. There's nothing up here. This is where I got the... This is where I got the Bunsen burner, I think. I honestly think I checked everything out. <laughs> what about this cabinet? There's nothing inside. I think the ghost saw me. Just gonna hide in here to be safe. Yep, the ghost definitely saw me. Alright, we're good. Yeah, all I can think of right now is just to head back downstairs and just check the, um... And just check the pool room again, because there's really nothing... There's nothing else I can think of. I'll check the pool room again, right? And if, uh, I don't see anything... Well, I'll scour the whole first floor again, but if I don't see anything, I... I might just have to look up a guide again. That would be like that'd be like what the the third time I looked up a guide in this playthrough. There's nothing in the cabinet.
There's nothing over here. I checked the valves. The panel seems to be broken and won't turn. Reflection. That one turns, but you get a trickle of, like, blood or some shit. We check the skeleton out. There's rust and mold on it. Definitely check that out. Hmm. hmm. I tried going in for a dip. Over here we need an item. To get across. Eh. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel real stupid when we find out the most simplest solution ever to this. There's a locker here. Enter. No. I have no need for it right now. I checked this room out. Right. I think I did. Yeah, I did. The gym is locked. Boarded up so tightly, probably never open again. Even with proper tools, getting these boards off would be nearly impossible. So, I mean, I had a crowbar, but it's gone now. So I'm assuming, you know, there's no need for it. You know, you know what just crossed my mind? That makes me feel really dumb. There might be something in the library. I felt like I checked out the library room, but I probably didn't. Probably one of these rooms right here. Nothing over here. Ow! That was dumb and stupid of me to do that, but I did it anyways. Sometimes you gotta test your gangster. <laughs> That's what that was. Pure, pure faith. I came in here and checked something wriggling around inside the cabinet. Son of a bitch, that's my fault. There's nothing over here. Where's that little library room? Is it it's not this one. Oh god. Is it upstairs? It's upstairs, right? Shit. <laughs> no, it has to be down here, right? Did I miss that room completely? Because that's the only one I can think of right now, that or over here, which I've checked over here before and found nothing. Let's find that library room. This is where my memory starts to go. Slowly turn into an old man in front of everyone. The memory goes first. Then it's the mobility. Or is it the other way around? I can't... I can't properly remember. Run past that guy. That's the science lab. not this room. It's not that room. It's 
It's not this room either. Is it on the third floor? Jesus, fuck. Mmm! The same piece of... Same piece of goddamn glass. I'm not doing it on purpose. I just forget. Is this the room? This has to be the room, right? This the library room? Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure I checked this already, but, you know, just to be sure. Huh? Completely infested with bugs. Okay, I thought something was happening. Nope. Nothing here. Alright, well, fuck. I... I give up. I give up. Give it the good old college try. How the hell do I get into the gym? Let's see. Gym key. Where are you? I really love this game, but I cannot for the life of me find the key to the gym. It really gets me mad. I've already triggered the event. Hmm. Okay. It's in the art room. That's what people are saying, which I've been to already. Uh... It's in the art room. The key to the gym? Are they sure they're not talking about the fucking crowbar? Because that's where I got the crowbar. Let me... Let me double check this, because sometimes, sometimes people themselves don't know what the fuck they're talking about in these goddamn forums. Let's see. Uh. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find one that doesn't immediately give me spoilers. Okay. Uh, the pool part is kind of trial and error. Okay, well, I'm not talking about the pool part. I don't even know what the fuck they're... What the hell are they on about? can't even find a fucking direct answer to this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's both a... It's both a... Blessing and a curse that people don't want to directly spoil the game. But at the same time, it's like... Let's see. Music room key, pump room key, gym key. Inside the tree in the art room. Although, you have to examine it again after getting the crystal. If I don't have a face cam for a reason, but right now I have a face of disgust. Pure disgust. Because, you know, if, if it was... I hate, I hate saying it like this because I feel like I'm... I'm nitpicking the game and I feel like I'm being bitchy about it but if it was something like hell like even like I even have like a little bit of a gripe about the uh about like how the game goes like oh the darkening don't go checking shit but check cabinets though but we're not gonna tell you to check cabinets right meanwhile every other item that's interactable you can fucking you know they have a nice sparkle on them to tell you, hey, check that shit out, that that's important. Um. But it's really bad when you have a cutscene. And in the cutscene, the character checks the area in note. The exact area, too. Because you have to walk up to the tree and examine it for the cutscene to play. And then the characters go like, oh, here's the key item that we need. Okay, cool. 
and then the games are the game just sends you back to gameplay and it's like okay go now that's the universal sign of this room is clear it's okay to go right but even then i walked back in the room later and there's the crowbar sitting on the desk in the corner but you know it has the little item sparkle on it right to let you know that hey there's an item here pick it up dumbass so something like that i can agree with when you're telling me that I have to re-examine the area that gave me the key item through a cutscene and you give me no indication that I have to re-examine that, that's just bad design. That's just really... that's just bad design. You know? <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. That's like Link, that's like Link walking up, uh, walking through the forest, right? The Lost Woods. Putting, putting like the stones on the pedestal for the Master Sword and just going, okay, cool, I have the power to stop evil now. And then he just walks away and doesn't grab the Master Sword. And then the game lets you walk out the woods, no problem. You know? It's just one of those, one of those little things that's like, how did you, how did you not see that? <laughs> how did you not see that? Um, is this the art room? This is the art room, right? Yeah. It's one of those weird things. There's something in the hole. The gem key. All right. Okay. Well... That wasn't fun. That wasn't fun. That was just really bad. So not only... Not only do I have to... Check cabinets every time I see them. I also have to recheck areas where cutscenes activate. That's not... That's not cool. Right? <laughs> and I hate I hate saying that because it makes me seem pretentious, right? I feel like I'm being pretentious and like a whiny little bitch talking about it. But dude, it's so it's just bad design. It's just bad design. Let's agree on that, please. If we can agree on anything, let's agree that that's just bad design. But uh let's put the flashlight on so you guys can see a little bit better. But I'm looking at the time right now. Spend most of our time just walking around. Just blindly looking for shit. Uh, <laughs> but I'm at time for my stream. For this stream at least. Because chances are I'm going to be streaming again later today. Around uh, around like, well, if, if you're on the east coast of the U.S., It'd be probably around like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Uh, if you're on the West Coast, it's like three hours back for you, so. <laughs> so do the math. I don't feel like doing it right now in my head, right? But that's going to be it for... Oh, wow, my voice just cracked. That's going to be it for Corpse Party tonight. Uh, I really wanted to get further in the game. There was definitely a good chunk of this of me just walking around and running my mouth. But I still, you know... I'm still having fun with the game. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not. Just because something, just because something doesn't go my way, doesn't mean I'm not having fun with it, right? So, I'm really excited to come back to this game. Next time I'll come back to this game, uh, it's gonna be, it's on the schedule, you know? I can't, for some reason, off the top of my head, I can't even remember what the fuck it is. Uh, what is it? What's today? Today's Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, so on the West Coast, it would be Wednesday night. On the East Coast, it would be Thursday morning. Right? Yeah, I think that's how that works. Yeah, that is how that works. Wait. That is how that works. Right? Yeah, that is how that works. Okay. <laughs> so that's the next uh, stream time for Quartz Party. As for later today, again, I, I said the times earlier, going to be doing Masquerade uh, Vampire. Vampire. Hold up. What the fuck is the title of that game? Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. 
I mean, not Bloodlines 2, just Bloodlines, fuck. Bloodlines 2 didn't come out yet. Jesus. Yeah, so, um, we're kind of restarting that from scratch, um, with, with that game. But this time I have some knowledge from, from, uh, the earlier, I don't want to call it a playthrough, right? Because it never got finished, but, you know, the earlier playthrough that I did on it, so... You know, I'm a little bit more knowledgeable going into that game, but it's still kind of semi-blind playthrough. Um, so that's it for the Twitch, you know. If you want to leave a follow, leave a follow. If you want to sub, please leave a sub. It helps out a lot, you know. It helps me. It helps me pay for things to make it better, make the stream better, and get some artwork done, and maybe some more animations can happen, and all that wonderful stuff, because I have... Even though I don't say it that much, I got some connections. But, you know, there's that. As for the YouTube situation, currently right now, there's just some, you know, I'm just uploading some streams, some videos that I had. My flashlight is going out. Uh, some streams, you know, uh, the Danganronpa V3 playthrough, that's getting uploaded. Uh, fair, fair warning about that. One of the streams for the Danganronpa v3 playthrough got corrupted so there's about you know there's about a there's about an hour of story missing right from that playthrough everything else is pretty fine at least so far what i've come across when editing it together but um you know everything comes across fine uh besides like that couple of hours of gameplay but for those couple hours of gameplay i did upload a very short well i say short but it turned out being around like 30 or 40 minutes because i didn't i didn't honestly i didn't even know how long i was going on with that video when i made it um but it's just it's called it's danganronpa part 7.5 you know because it's not like a full part but at the same time it's it's me giving you the rundown as to what happened in the missing episode uh albeit that the memory in that video that i'm using is like a month after i've beaten the game <laughs> so so some fun was had on my part with that maybe i got some things wrong maybe i didn't who knows go watch it see if you like it maybe maybe my uh explanation of events that happened is fun to watch um so there's that as for other playthroughs going on to the channel right now, I did have some playthroughs planned earlier today. Earlier today, earlier this stream, I did say that I had a Scooby Doo playthrough plan, and it's still it's still up there. But I'm waiting. I have to wait for uh, for some artwork for it to get in in order for me to upload it because it's Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo, and I want artwork for Scooby Doo. So that'll be fun. So keep an eye out for that. Uh. Go check some of the other, you know, videos and stuff if you like that. If you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a like. Leave a like, leave a comment. Ask me whatever question you want. Chances are I will get back to you. <laughs> or you can follow me on Twitter. That's in the description below. Um, it's also on the screen right now. For, uh, for all that, my Twitch is also in the description below if you're on YouTube. You know, so comment, like, subscribe, all that wonderful jazz. And, uh, what else is there to say? I think that's pretty much it. I kind of rambled on here. But, you know, that's just how I do things, I guess. So until then, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.